Another short video from Lord Howe Island. On this morning, my son and I went looking for strangler figs to shoot. We eventually found a really nice large one near the police station, but the challenge was trying to find a location to shoot it from, where there was a lot of undergrowth and a lot of scrubby background. Uh, but I eventually found one, so I hope you enjoy this video, and let me know your preference for colour or black and white at the end of the shot in the comments below. See ya. So I think I found an angle to shoot from and I'm just going to switch over to video on the camera here to show you what I can see. And you can see here that I've got blown out highlights in the background uh, in comparison with the really dark shadows and the dark green foliage in the foreground. So I'm going to bracket this. Uh, I've already done a test shot um, with minus two, minus one, zero, plus one, plus two exposure values uh, and the plus two is a complete waste of time. It's too blown out and the minus two isn't quite dark enough so uh, I'm going to drop it down uh, by a full stop so I go from minus three to plus one uh, and take the shots and then either blend them uh, manually in Photoshop or put them through HDR in Lightroom afterwards. So uh, I'll take these shots and uh, show you what I get. But uh, just firstly, camera settings. I'm just going to switch back to stills here. I'm on uh, F11. There's a bit of depth of field here from the foreground here is about uh, two metres away from me through to the tree about 10 metres away and some of the background I don't really need in focus too much um, but I'll try this at f11 and then maybe try it at a, a more open aperture to reduce the depth of field a bit. Uh, I'm going to focus manually uh, using live view on the screen at the back um, so that I can make sure that I've got the foreground and the uh, tree uh, in the background uh, or the midground in focus. Um, F11 at ISO 100 is giving me about 0.8 uh, of a second uh, as the initial shot, um, but I'm going to drop that down uh, a full stop and bracket, as I said, from minus three to plus one stops. So we'll see how we go. So it turns out that the uh, one stop bracketing wasn't enough, so I've pushed it out to two stop bracketing and I'm going from minus five, minus three, minus one, plus one and plus three and we'll see how that goes. Now the last couple of shots are going to take a few seconds because I've got the um, slow shutter speed noise reduction on so uh, for every second of exposure there's a second of black exposure taken to uh, reduce the noise by subtracting any hot spots in the uh, in the image yeah and this fifth exposure is a 20 second exposure so uh, that's going to take a few seconds but uh, hopefully that's worked out so I think I've captured that one. I'm not sure whether I'm going to end up with it in colour um, or convert it to black and white because if we push the contrast up uh, in the roots of the tree it uh, should come up well in black and white but uh, we'll try it in both and uh, I'll uh, show you when I'm done. <laughs> 